Hello, it's Jackie Green from GAI's Behind the Design, where we are reimagining training, education, and support for interior designers after college. Today I have a quick SketchUp tutorial for you. In this video, you will learn how to add 3D text and text notes. After you watch this video, you will feel confident in adding text to your model. I have opened the bungalow model from our SketchUp from Beginners course. There are two different types of text, text notes and 3D text. Using the 3D text tool, you can add text that has depth. For example, I often use the 3D text for company names when modeling commercial projects. It is also great for address numbers on the house, which is what you will learn today. You can access the 3D text function either through the large tool set or by going to Tools and selecting 3D text. Once you select the tool, a pop-up will appear. We will start by entering the text we want to include. I chose 123 for the address number. Below the text box, you will see Font. There is a wide range of fonts to choose from. Align will allow you to align left, center, or right. Below you see Form. There are two options, Filled and Extruded. I have both checked. In the right column, you can select your font style. This font only has regular and bold, but other fonts may have more options. Height is how tall you want the letters, and below height is the thickness. When you have the text setting correct, just click Place. You will notice that the text is attached to your cursor. To place the text, move your cursor to the location where you want to place the text and left click one time. You can adjust the location of the text after you place it using the move command. The text is grouped together automatically, making it easier to move. Now here's a drawback of the 3D text tool. If you want to make a change to the size, you can't do it without going through the entire process again. SketchUp also allows you to add notes to your model along with a leader. For example, you may want to add a finish note or instructions for a contractor. The text tool can be found in the large tool set or under the Tool menu. Select the tool. The text will automatically generate a leader. Left click one time to place the leader and then pull your cursor to the location where you want the text and click again. The text will be highlighted and you can replace the text. Finally, we will add a finish note, Paint P1 and hit spacebar to get out of the command. If I orbit around, you can see that the text adjusts based on the movement. I typically don't add notes until I finalize the view and secure it with the scene. For instance, if I want to create an elevation of the front of the bungalow, I would click the front view, then go to my camera tools, select parallel projection, then create a scene to hold this view. Now I can add text notes as part of the model. If I want to change the text, I simply click in to highlight the text and then I can make the change. I can also select the text with one click and make the change in the Entity Info box. I can change the visibility and change the font, style, and size. Text can also be added to a tag to control the visibility. Now this concludes this quick tutorial video on adding text to your SketchUp model. We cover this topic in much more detail in our SketchUp for Beginners course. You can check it out along with our other courses at BehindTheDesignCo.com. And as always, feel free to subscribe to our channel and share it with others.